Okay, so this is an example of how to use parallel array lists to store multiple pieces of information about one item and then print them out. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to use two lists, one storing people's names and one storing people's ages. Um, so I'm using array lists. I need to import java.util.arraylist. So in my main method, what I've done here is first I've declared two array lists one which will be storing strings, I've called that names, and one which will be storing integers, I've called that ages. Uh, what I'm doing next here is populating the lists. So I'm adding a name and then an age. So when I use the add method on an array list, the item gets added to the end of the list. So adding five names and five ages. Okay, the important thing to note is that in the first position in the array, this name corresponds with this age. So their positions line up. That's why they're called parallel arrays. Okay, now that I've added some data, and this could also be done interactively with GUI or a prompt, uh, what I'm going to do is print out the data. So I'm using a for loop here, and I'm taking advantage of the fact that array lists track their own logical size. So you can just add things to them, and they know how big they are. And there's a really handy method called size. So I have an array list called names. Names.size will return the number of items in that list. So in this case, I have five items in my names list with addresses from 0 to 4. So names.size will return 5 for me. Um, so I'm declaring a string to build the output in, and I've just initialized it to an empty string so that I can add things to it. Uh, so I'm looping from 0 to less than the size, so I'm going to go from 0 to 4, and each time the loop runs, I'm taking my output, I'm adding a name, and I'm saying that name at i is ages at i years old. Okay, so I'm using the loop counter to get each piece of information out of the parallel arrays every time the loop runs. So the first time this runs, I'll get Austin Matthews is 19 years old, the second time it runs, I'll get William Nylander is 20 years old, and so on and then I print it out at the bottom. And if I run this, you can see what happens. There's my output, five lines, and that's it.